What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's solve this math question that says find the values of x for which the square root of x plus the square root of negative x is equal to 2. Well our first step will be for us to move the square root of x to the right hand side so that we have on the left the square root of negative x. To be equal to, we have 2 on the right, and as the square root of x crosses to the right, it becomes minus the square root of x. Very good. Now, in order to get rid of this square root, our next step will be for us to take the square of both sides. So I'll square the left, I'll also square the right. Now notice that square cancels out square root, leaving behind negative x to be equal to. Now on the right, we have 2 minus the square root of x squared, right? This expression is same as 2 minus the square root of x times 2 minus the square root of x. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to expand. So we have negative x to be equal to, now on expanding the right hand side, 2 times 2, that's 4, minus 2 times the square root of x is 2 root x, and then minus the square root of x times 2 is 2 root x, and then negative times negative gives positive. The square root of x times the square root of x is the square root of x squared. Very good. Now notice that the square root of the square root cancels out square, leaving behind x. Now simplifying further, we have negative x to be equal to 4 minus 2 root x minus 2 root x gives minus 4 root x. Very good. And then plus x. Now our next step will be for us to get rid of this square root. But in order to do that, I have to isolate this. So I'm going to be moving minus 4 root x to the left hand side and then move negative x to the right hand side. So moving negative 4 root x to the left makes it positive 4 root x. This is equal to, now I have 4 plus x, and then when negative x crosses to the right, it becomes plus x. Very good. And now simplifying further, we have 4 root x to be equal to 4. And then x plus x is 2x. Very good. Now, let's reduce this because we see that 2 can divide through. So I'm going to be dividing through by 2. So I'll divide the left by 2. I'll divide 4 by 2. I'll divide 2x by 2. Now, 4 divided by 2, we have 2. So here, this will result to 2 root x to be equal to 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I'm going to be writing 2 plus 2 cancels out 2, leaving behind x. Very good. Now, remember that we want to get rid of the square root. And in order to do that, we take the square of both sides. So take the square of both sides. This square affects the 2 and it also affects the square root of x. That means this expression can be written as 2 squared times the square root of x squared. Very good. This is equal to the right hand side we have 2 plus x all squared which can be written as 2 plus x times 2 plus x. Very good. 
Now, 2 squared is 4 times square cancels out square root, leaving behind x. Very good. And this is equal to, now let's expand the right hand side. So 2 times 2, that's 4, plus 2 times x, that's 2x, and then plus x times 2 is 2x, plus, lastly, x times x is x squared. Very good. And now simplifying further, we have on the left, we have 4x to be equal to, this is 4, and then 2x plus 2x is 4x. And then plus x squared. Very good. Now, we're going to be moving everything to one side. That means I'm, I'm going to be moving 4x to join the right-hand side. And when I do that, 0 will be remaining on the left. So this will be equal to 4. This is 4x, so plus 4x. And since this and this are like terms, I can then move this closer to it. So as 4x crosses to the right, it becomes minus 4x. And then lastly, we can write plus x squared. Very good. So this simplifies into 0 equal to 4. Now 4x minus 4x is 0. So no need of writing that, plus x squared. Very good. Now, we're looking for x. That means I'm going to be moving 4 to the left-hand side. And when I do that, 4 crosses to the left to become negative 4. Equal to, now what remains on the right-hand side is x squared. Very good. Now, I can write this like this because I don't feel comfortable leaving x on the right Why the number on the left-hand side. So I can just switch their positions. So writing x squared first to be equal to negative 4. Very good. Now, since we're looking for the value of x, in order to get rid of this square, I'm going to be taking the square root of both sides. Let me just do that separately. So I'll take the square root of the left-hand side. But when I'm doing the one for the right-hand side, I'll be including plus or minus. So the square root of negative 4. Now notice that square root cancels out the square, leaving behind x to be equal to plus or minus. I'm going to be simplifying what I have here because of this negative. So this expression can be written as the square root of negative, okay, negative 1 times 4. Negative 1 times 4 will give negative 4. That is it. Now we can separate this so that x will be plus or minus. This becomes the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 4. And now simplifying further, you see that x will be plus or minus. The square root of negative 1 is an imaginary number, so it can be represented as i. And then the square root of 4 is 2. Very good. So there are two values of x from here. And what are these two values? We have x to be equal to positive i2, or more appropriately, we can write it as 2i. That's it. Or the value, this is the first value of x. The second value of x is going for the negative, negative 2i. And there you have it. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.